Let's take a closer look at using the EBSCO Discovery Search to do some literature review research. From the library homepage, we can use the Discover Articles Quick Search box to type in a topic and begin searching, or use the Advanced Search link. I'm going to begin by using the EBSCO Discovery Service Advanced Search menu because that gives me more options for filtering my results right from the beginning. And I'm going to search. I'm interested in uh, the organizational behavior and leadership at Twitter. So I'm going to add those to my search box. and click the search button. That's going to look for my terms as keywords anywhere in the results. I have 25,000 items, which is too many. My search is still too broad, but it gives me an idea of the scope and quantity of information that's available on, uh, that's related to this topic. And I immediately have some options to limit my results by source type, by subject, by publisher, by language and geography. As, I, as you can see, when I scroll through these results lists, I have academic journals, but I also have many ebooks that are coming up. EBSCO does search all of our library collection. That includes the ebooks, our print books, and all of the databases and publishers that we have access to, which is why your search result is so large. The other reason is because my keywords are, um, I'm looking for these as keywords anywhere. I can make this more uh, relevant and narrow it down a little bit. I know I'm specifically interested in Twitter as the main primary company that's involved in this research. So I'm going to change uh, that from keyword to a subject search. And that's going to really bring down my results list a lot. 136 items. Some of the items will be full text immediately available in the database. Some will say full text finder, which means that they are available in one of our other databases. And if you click the link, it will walk you through the path to get to the database where that item is available. In this case, this article is part of our Science Direct subscription, and it's going to connect me to that database where I can download the article and export the citation and do what I need to do. When I'm done, I can close it and come right back to my results list. Some items we will not have as part of our library collection and those you can use the request through interlibrary loan link and we will borrow them for you from another library. At this point, I'm going to take the ebooks and the printed books and the newspaper articles out of my search and limit to scholarly peer reviewed sources only. That will update my results list further. And now I have 70 articles to look at. If I choose an article to look at in more detail, I can click on the title. It's going to give me more information about it. Show me what subject terms it is tagged with and allow me to uh, use the tools to save it to my Google Drive, add it to my research folder, email it to myself, generate a citation, just click the link, and you can copy and paste the APA reference onto your reference list, or use the permalink function to pick up a URL that will bring me back to this article in this database that I can share in, um, in my notes with an my um, group members, with my instructor. Permalink is the URL you need to use if you want to share this um, article with someone else. If I find an article I'm interested in, I can look at the subject terms that have been assigned to it and use those to find more information like it. In this case, I'm interested in CEO communication. By clicking on that subject term, it's going to do a new search and it's going to look for items that have been specifically tagged with CEO communication as their subject.
as you're doing your research, pay attention to the language that your authors use, the subject terms that articles are tagged with, and your search limits and options. Be creative in expanding your research and trying different strategies until you find articles that meet the needs for the topic that you have chosen. There are a couple of tips you can use to get the best results out of our databases and search engines. Putting exact phrases in quotation marks will force the algorithm to treat it as one item in exactly the way that you typed it. The asterisk for truncation will search for the root word and all possible endings. And remember that if you have very similar synonyms or related terms, you can combine those with the word or. One of the features of EBSCO is that you can sign in to create a personal account for yourself so that you can save and organize your research into folders and you can even save searches so that you can come back to them later or create email alerts to let you know when something new is published that matches your research topic. I hope this overview has given you some confidence to get started with your own research topics. Anytime you have questions, please reach out to us by email, by phone, or use the chat now button on our website.